Okay, the question is a chess match between two grandmasters X and Y is won by whoever wins first a total of two games. X chances of winning, drawing and losing are A, B and C respectively and they are A plus B plus C equals 1 and games are independent. So that means winning, drawing and losing, they are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Now first one is find the probability that X wins the match after N plus 1 games. Now X is going to win after N plus 1 games if in the N plus 1th game X wins and in the remaining N matches it should be 1 win for X and it could be n minus 1 draws or it could be 1 win for x, 1 win for y and n minus 2 draws. So these are the possible ways in which x can win the match after n plus 1th game. Now let us call this probability as p n plus 1. Now 1 match, 1 by x, now which one? So it will be this n c 1 and then it will be this a n minus 1 draws so it will be b to the power of n minus 1 and then n plus 1th game a wins so it will be this n times a square b to the power of n minus 1 plus the second case 1 win n c1 now 1 win for y n minus 1 c1 now this is a this is c p to the power n minus 2 and again n plus 1 to n so it will be this a so it will be plus n n minus 1 a square c b to the power of n minus 2 now we can take a square common so if we take a square common we can write this as now here will be this n b to the power of n minus 1 plus n n minus 1 b to the power of n minus 2 into c which is a square n into b to the power n minus 1 n n minus 1 b to the power n minus 2 into c which is your option b now the second question it says the probability that y wins the match after fourth game now we have already calculated it for x and the difference between x and y is the probabilities of winning and losing are interchanged so we'll actually use formula in first to calculate this probability of y winning in fourth match so it'll be this p4 for y and in this we need to interchange a and b so we can write c square now here value of n it should be 3 so it'll be this 3 b square plus 6 6b and then we'll interchange c with a so it'll be this a we'll take 3b common so it'll be this 3b c square and then here will be this b plus 2a and that's your option a now we look at this option 3 now option 3 is probably that x wins the match now x is going to win the match when the value of n varies from 2 to infinite so this probability that x wins the match will be this probability n varies from 1 to infinite e n plus 1 which is a square into this summation n varies from 1 to infinite n b to the power of n minus 1 plus a square c into this summation n varies from 1 to infinite n n minus 1 b to the power of n minus 2. Now we have to calculate the sum of these two series. This one and this one. Now if we look at the series which is 1 plus b plus b square up to infinite, we know that this is 1 upon 1 minus b 
or we can write this as summation b to the power n where n varies from 0 to infinite it is 1 upon 1 minus b now we differentiate this both sides with respect to b we get this summation now n varies from 1 to infinite n to b to the power of n minus 1 and here it will be 1 upon 1 minus b square so this expression for the first series will be a square upon 1 minus b square now here it is a square c now we will differentiate it again now if we differentiate this again we will get this as n varies from 1 to infinite n n minus 1 b to the power of n minus 2 and here it will be 2 upon 1 minus b cube so it will be this 2 a square c upon 1 minus b cube let me simplify this we can write this as 1 minus b cube and then it will be this a square into 1 minus b plus 2 into a square c now 1 minus b is actually a plus c so we can write this as a square a plus c plus 2 a square c and here will be this a plus c whole cube now we can take a square common so it will be this a square and then it will be a plus 3c upon a plus c whole cube which is your option b now the next one is the probability that y wins the match now we know that situation for x and y is exactly same except for a and c must be interchanged so if we interchange a and c we'll get this as c cube plus 3c square a upon a plus c cube that means this option b it should be correct and then finally we need to find the probability that there is no winner now if we add these two cases then it will be a cube plus c cube plus 3a square c 3c a square which is a plus c whole cube so some of these two probabilities is one so that means these two probabilities they are mutually exclusive and exhaustive so out of x and y there will be exactly one winner so probability that there will be no winner is simply zero and that's your option d